in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. Welcome to the episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Something unusual. You may have seen this car if you went to Pomona, the, uh, the big roadster show. Been in a few magazines, but I think you'll see more of this car. It's a 1951 Kaiser, but it's got an interesting story. It's designed and built by a young man who is an industrial designer at Air Raid. You know, they make uh, air filters and custom intake manifolds. Keith Charvonia. Keith, come on in here. How you doing? Real good. Thanks for having me on, Jay. Oh, great job. So you started you. with a 51 Kaiser. Tell us uh, how this whole project got started. Well, this car was destined for the scrapyard. The yeah. guy had bought it for the interior, so I gave him scrap rate, $150. See, a lot of people get mad and they go, oh, you chopped up a classic. But this was a car that had essentially been junked in. Was at the junkyard, ready to go in the crusher, so you saved it. Exactly. It was and a big yeah. experiment anyways, so yeah. start with something like that. Okay, and you did the whole thing yourself. Yeah, I did everything but the paint. Right. See, All the metal work. This looks as it was done by you know, uh, one of those top custom shops of some kind. You did the whole thing yourself. That's, that's I amazing. Did. I learned everything the hard way and yeah. bought tools as I went. Okay, so tell us, uh, what was your idea? Were you looking for a 51 a Kaiser or were you just looking for a car to chop? I just wanted to build a car of that era, of that style. Mm -hmm. Kaiser kind of fell in my lap, right. so I went for it. But fortunately, it's not a Ford, Chevy, Merc, right. something different. Had you ever seen a Kaiser in person before you found this one? Yeah, I had. Okay. Yeah, so, the so guy I got the car from is in Phoenix. He has a whole bunch, so I had oh, been down okay. there and seen him. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so you, you, you take this rusted relic home. Obviously on a trailer, it didn't run. Right. Did it have an engine in it? No, we pulled all that out. I knew I wouldn't use it. So oh, okay. Just a okay. shell when I got it. Okay, so tell us from the beginning how you, how you, how you got started. Uh, first thing I did was just put new floors and rockers in it because it just wasn't a solid car. Then I set about chopping the top. Uh, it was a four-door, so I turned it into a two-door. Okay. Once I had the body solid, you know. And beautiful work here. Look at all this. This is amazing. How much did you chop from the top? That's six inches, okay. straight down. Windshield leaned back a little. Back window came forward about a foot and leaned that forward quite a bit, too. Had you chopped a number of cars before you did this one? This is the one and only. Oh, yeah. this is the first? <laughs> yeah. This is the only one? I just jumped in, yeah. Wow. So, uh, did you make a lot of mistakes? Or, or, or you just, see, I'm one of those guys, I cut first and then I measure later, which is the wrong, <laughs> the wrong way to do it. So, did you get it right the first time, or was it, oh my God, you got it? I did, yeah. yeah. I took my time, but being a designer, I took the time to sketch it, right. Photoshop it, model it, so I knew what I had ahead of me before I jumped in and ever cut anything. I love this piece of chrome here. Was this stock to the Kaiser? It's a stock piece, but it's really reworked to fit the okay. body. Okay, boy, yeah. that's a nice piece there, right? I off. even welded a stud right here so I could pull it in tight. It was kind of hanging off the body. Right, right. Yeah. Is that a Kaiser door handle? Kaiser door handle. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of Kaiser parts on the car. It's got right. the Cobra mirrors, which are, you know, a completely different genre of car right they kind of tie in and it's got Ford Zodiac Australian headlight rings okay other than that it's almost all Kaiser trim okay. they had nice parts on them they were just kind of an awkward shaped car is this know? Kaiser glass in here yeah all NOS glass okay so you get the body home you do the floor you don't have a chassis what did you do for a chassis from the Kaiser guy Larry who I got the car from he had another one sitting on an 87 Caprice chassis and I happened to be really into these B-body Caprices and Impalas right. at the time. So I got on eBay, tracked down a police car, 95 Chevy Caprice police car, bought it, and I used the whole chassis, brakes, engine. It was a, a good cheap donor car. Wheelbase was the same? It wasn't. It's three inches different. Okay. But I redid the rear wheel wells here out of front fenders. Okay. So I just slid them up. Oh, you see, it's, so it's three inches shorter. Or, right. Okay. Right. Because, you know, it's so low it looks long, but it's really not long. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Well, let's, let's walk around the car a little bit here. This looks stock Kaiser. Yeah, it's a yeah. stock handle. Okay. And tell me, what you do with the license plate here? Well, from the factory, the plate's kind of hanging off the body. It's got a bracket under it. So I just cut a hole, sunk it in. I really wanted to retain the handle. Yeah. So I kind of made it work with the handle. Yeah, the attention to detail is fascinating. Tell me about this paint, how it seems to, it goes from white to different shades of blue. How? how yeah, that's a Gene Winfield paint job. He, okay. That's his style. It's very signature. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's specific to this era, so I wanted him to paint the car. Now, Gene Winfield, of course, legendary car designer. Yeah. yeah. I remember being in math class when I was like 13 years old. And you see, <laughs> oh, very cool. Yeah. And he's one of those guys. Well, he's about 85 years old yeah. now, isn't he? Yeah. Now, how do you get Gene Winfield to paint your car? That's pretty good. You know what? People ask me that, and all I did was pick up the phone. Yeah. I called him, super friendly guy. He was more than willing to paint it. Was he impressed with your work? I think so. I yeah. think that helped getting him yeah. to paint it. 
Yeah. Tell me about this bumper. That's a stock bumper, okay. but what I did is I flipped it over. Yeah. I shaved all the holes. I tucked it in. I recurved it. So it'll sit a lot tighter against the body than a normal Kaiser bumper. I and mean, people have no idea how much work is involved just to, like you say, French that in there. How many yeah. years has it taken? Eight this years? was eight years of nights and weekends. Okay. And learning everything for the first time. Single guy, are you? I'm married now. Oh, you're married now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least she knows where you are. She's a good lady. Yeah, you're always right over there in the right. garage. See, yeah. That's the thing about car guys. They're always, they're right over there. Yep. They're, they're in the garage. Very cool. Let's continue around here. You know, you could look at the detail here. Obviously, there's uh, some sort of air ride or hydraulic. What kind of suspension? It's all air have? suspension, yeah. That's okay. a kit I put together. Now, when you turn the key, does it automatically come up or you have to turn it on? It's so all it, manual. It's all so okay. I have toggle switches. I can okay. control the ride height. Okay, yeah. very cool. I did put a digital gauge in the dash so I can monitor yeah. the, the height, you know. And I love the cut of this. Uh, is this is this stock Kaiser the way this? Yeah, that's goes? very signature Kaiser. They yeah. call it a heart-shaped window. Beautifully done. Yeah, yeah. beautifully it's done. Kind of a neat feature. Let's, I oh, let's to open the trunk while yeah. we're here. Oh, look at that! We, we missed that. We missed this. Look at that. I was I was looking for a button under here, but it's right here. Yeah, just right. lift it up. So pull it up. Boy, and that's close. a heavy piece, isn't it? There we go. All right, gas is so, obviously there. Yeah, Yeah, it's the Caprice tank that's in the center. Yeah, so nicely out. done. Beautifully done. It just all matches the interior. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's great. <laughs> that, is, that is a heavy piece of chrome. <laughs> Man, it's a two-hander. It, it, <laughs> Let's put this down so we don't ruin the line of the car. Right here, you flip that up, put your key in, there you go. And these are stock? This yeah, those of? were actually a nice find. They were NOS lenses wrapped in paper when wow. I got them, so that was a good score. Tell me about these wheels. These are just chrome uh, wheel ventiques, 15-inch wheels. Uh, the tires were custom made for the car by Diamondback Radials. Oh, is that right? Yeah, there's no letters on them, you'll notice. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then I've got the bullet center cap and the bullet lug nuts that kind of tie in with the mirrors. And You know, there's so many guys to start a project like this, and a year, 18 months, two years in, you get that discouraging, oh my God, this is never going to be finished. Did you ever reach that point or did you always have your goal in mind? That, was there ever a point, you know, just for guys at home that are doing it. Yeah. So you're, you're a great encouragement <laughs> for, for guys that have started projects and they just get in over their head. It's just crazy. Right. You know, was there ever a point where you got discouraged or did you always see the light at the end of the tunnel? I, I had the vision of what I wanted to accomplish, but it does, it gets grueling year after year, and, yeah. you know, day after day. So I took some breaks and worked on other cars, but I knew what I was trying to accomplish, so I was able to see it through. So you had sketches? You, you, you just all sketch it out first? before. Yeah, you, you know. some rough sketches, and then right. I took the car into Photoshop with a profile view yeah. and chopped it and figured out where everything was going to move. Cool, cool. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's open the hood. Okay. I love the emblem. Look at this. Did you recess this? I did, yeah. That was... Um, something Gene Winfield forced me to do. Yeah. So I came in one morning and he had cut a hole in the hood and I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That looks yeah. great. That's kind of a neat touch. Yeah, go ahead, open it okay. up. It's as high as it goes. Yeah. So you're pretty much working out like this. Yeah, it's a little, have yeah, you got a stiff neck? It can be a backbreaker. Boy, that engine sits low in the chassis. Look at that. Yeah, that's just the uh, LT1 350 that came out of the Caprice, and yeah. that's how it sits. So. Now, the engine normally would have been, what, a six-cylinder flathead to yeah. start yeah. with. Yeah. I think they made a supercharger for it, They too. did, a factory a Kaiser supercharger. Yeah, it was still of... only 100 horsepower, though. Yeah, that's okay. That was yeah. a lot back in the day. Yeah. God, it's just beautifully done. Tell us about, okay, these are Ford, Australian Ford? Yeah, the model is a Zodiac. Yeah. Those were something, Gene Winfield had one in his shop. Yeah. And we were looking at, like, five different options, and we chose that. The curve and the peak kind of ties in with the grill yeah. and everything and the hood here. Well, that's kind of the fun part, you know, when you have a project like this, you go through a shop and you find stuff that you think you could use. Right. You know, that's a nice thing about doing something on a budget. You have to use your imagination. Exactly. You know, and, oh, look at the Gene had one of these, and then obviously you have to find another one. From Australia. <laughs> you and I had already done the metal work with one to make yeah. it fit, so we had to find that second ring. Very, very cool. Let's put this down here. Let's talk about the windshield here. Now, okay. I guess this is Kaiser, too. Right, that's Kaiser. Trim. Obviously, the windshield's been cut down. It actually hasn't been cut. No? The trick is you bury it behind the dash, oh. between the cowl and the dash. When you okay. cut old glass like this, you have a 50-50 chance you're going to get it back. Yeah, yeah. With that being an NOS piece and there's only one, I chose to sink it down. Yeah. Let's talk about the interior of the car. I'm an old Ford guy. 
Is that a Thunderbird interior? Yeah, 65 T-Bird. Oh, okay. Yep. I was going to say 64, 64. I always love that interior. It's a great interior. Oh, it really yeah. is, yeah. It's a great looking seat with all the chrome in the back here. Yep. Nicely done. You paint match the seats. Oh, look at that. All the chrome. Beautiful, beautiful. And yeah. you got air conditioning in there as well. Yeah, it's a vintage air Mark IV unit. It's all sheet metal. We use vintage air on everything we do. That's It's the best unit. Fits in any car. It, it's really terrific. And I like that unit because it's, you know, fits this car otherwise I'd be cutting holes in the dash and yeah and it like looks that. modern and period at the same time right yeah yeah right. I love the uh, tell me about that speedo unit is that uh, is well, that Kaiser it's uh, kind of Kaiser it's the Kaiser lens yeah it's got a 0 to 120 degree speedometer so what I did was I found an auto meter gauge yeah. with the same sweep and same you know uh, miles per hour retrofitted it in I liked the 55 uh, Kaiser steering wheel. Mm -hmm. The center bar is real sleek. Yeah. But it was really big. And it's chop top, you know, the steering wheel is up in your vision. So what right. I did is I cut the center bar out. I rolled a piece of steel into a loop. Then I took PVC and heated it and slid it over really? the steel. Since oh. we're in Arizona, I wouldn't be able to drive the car with a steel steering wheel. Yeah, I guess that's So I welded it all together, body worked it. Um, and then you have a custom kind of 55 Kaiser steering wheel. Well, let's take it for a ride. looks in this car. You know, Kaiser's rare enough as it is. Most people never even seen one. But then one that's been chopped and customized like this, it's really a one-of-a-kind car. It rides very nicely. And it's got some power. It's the kind of car we see at the roads to show. It looks cool. But when you see it on the road, proportionate to other cars, that's when it really looks outstanding. Yeah, they always look I, better rolling. Oh, yeah. Cars are meant to roll. And you don't see this color on the highway anywhere. Really cool color. Nicely done. In the sunlight, it really pops. Because the chassis is a, 60, a 95 Chevy, rather, rides comfortable. It rides like a modern car because basically it is a modern car, but it's just got uh, the classic touches to it. Boy, it's nicely done, and I love the color combination. And having a legendary guy like Gene Winfield do the paint for you, that's, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. That's pretty amazing because he is, uh, it's like having the Beatles do your music, you know? It's the same thing. <laughs> he's, he's one of those guys that's been around since I was a kid, and is just an amazing character. And I got to learn from him. Yeah. Well, this car gets a lot of looks. Everybody waves and smiles, you know. I'm sure it's not because you're driving. No, no. <laughs> people, people have no idea what this is. What, what is that? What kind of car is that? You know, it's amazing just how people have no idea how hard it is to just get this roof curved the way it is and to, to uh, fill in that, that rear door. So I would have guessed this was a two-door to start. I would have known he would have done that. It's just beautifully, beautifully done. Just wonderful work on it. And I love this... Uh, this interior. If you ever seen a Tucker, Tucker had an open area like this. It was called the safety well. And in the event <laughs> of an accident, you're supposed to dive down in that well to avoid injury. <laughs> Speaking of that, Jay, this is the first car with a padded safety dash. I guess the, uh, in the Kaiser. The Kaiser was, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the uh, early airbag, I guess. But even though this windshield is chopped, I, I don't feel claustrophobic. I can still see plenty out of it. This, you got all kinds of room. Look at that. I could, I could barely punch him in the face from here. <laughs> The amazing thing is, look how uniform the paint is all across the board here. And all these parts were in the room next yeah. to the booth, too. Yeah. yeah so you'd that. spray the car with the yeah. color and then run in the other room and fog it on the parts. Wait, now check this out. we got to put the suspension down when we stop. These two? Yep, push down. Cool. Keith uh, took eight years to do this, and he did, a, as you can see, a beautiful job. He plays, what, fifth at the Roadster Show? Yeah, something like that. Something like that, fifth place, which is pretty amazing for a guy who did the whole thing in a two-car garage at home 
with the wife and the wife's car parked on the other side and all lawnmower and all that other stuff in the garage. <laughs> so it, it's, it's amazing. It's a testament to his ability. And uh, that's really what makes this hobby great. You know, there are a lot of us that can afford to have people work on their stuff. And uh, I'm fortunate enough to be able to do that. And then there are guys like Keith who do the whole thing themselves. And they should be given uh, extra kudos for that. So, Keith, thanks for bringing your Thank you, piece Dan. of artwork. And this is a real piece of artwork. It's beautifully designed, beautifully executed. And it rolls and explodes and makes noise. So it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. So uh, thanks for being an inspiration for all of us. Thank cool. you. Appreciate it. See you guys next week.